Russell Blakey is one of my favourite chefs. And when he's not creating the most amazing food at the Must Wine Bar in Highgate or Margaret River, he's inspiring a massive audience of listeners to Russell Wolf's popular 720 drive time radio show, describing mouthwatering recipes. But have you ever wondered what a great chef does on his day off? What does he enjoy eating? Well, to find out, I had to get up early to meet him at Hillary's Boat Harbour. This is what I love to do on my day off. I love going fishing. Mm -hmm. Clearing a pretty thick, easy fish to catch. Yeah. Well, that remains to be seen today. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I actually love eating herring. I think it's a great tasting fish. Yeah. And totally underrated. We have a decent fish. Do we have a decent fish? We have a herring. We've got a herring. Way to go. And it's a good one. Oh, yeah, he's a beauty. Well, Russell, we've established that you can fish, mate, but what are we going to do with a herring? We're fish. going to crumb the herring first. Yeah. So we dob it, dob it into the flour. Now, there's not a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're yeah. expecting to make a main course today, but I think <laughs> we've ended up with an hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> Now, when it goes into the egg wash, and this is the key, we don't put the egg wash on the skin side. So in she goes, yeah. we'll, we'll just brush it through the egg wash and leave the skin nice and free of the egg wash. Sorry. So that way, when it goes into the pan, into the hot oil, the skin will blister. Then all we do is dab the fish down into the breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. press them down, and lift them out so you've got the breadcrumb side yeah. and the skin side. Okay, so I'll test the oil with some breadcrumbs. You see them sizzle? Yep. We're ready to roll. Let's get the fish in. Okay, now you've fleshed down first. Yeah, Not look, this, if you put the skin side down first, the uh, skin will uh, buckle up. Right, yep. And you don't want to do that. You will actually want to have um, skin side second. Herring cook in about a minute and a half to two minutes. They're tiny right. fillets. Look at that. They All are done. Sensational. So quick too. We're going to make a salsa. Things I've got in the fridge. Yeah. I've got cucumber, avocado, chili, fennel for a bit of aniseed flavour. Yeah. Some dill tops, and then finish with a little drizzle of our extra virgin olive oil and a tiny sprinkle of salt. You and voila. are you are really the master chef, mate. That is just sensational. Doesn't that look good? All right, well, thanks very much, Russell. That's all yours. I'll see you later. Hey, 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 I caught those. <laughs> <laughs> well, Russell, you really did catch them, so there's your herring, mate. Ah, great. So, now, at the Must Wine Bar, what are you recommending as far as the best wine to go with a fish like this? A great southern Sem Sav Blanc. This is from Denmark, lovely, cool climate wine. Fantastic with herring. <sighs> Sounds pretty good, mate. Well, look, if you need any more advice on catching fish, just give me a call. Oh, any time, mate. Mm. Uh, only problem is uh, we're not going to ask you to supply us. Yeah, all right, that hurt. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs>